On Mother's Day, it's really impossible not to think about your mother's life. You know, I think about my mom, and the first thing that comes to my mind is that when she met my father, she fell in love with him from the first moment she met him. He was her only boyfriend, ever. And she was a singer, and she had her own little 15-minute radio show. And she met him because he came to audition to be the MC of her show, and that was it for her. Then they got married, and, and she gave up the show to start a family. And then he'd go off, you know, as a comedian working on the road, and she would, you know, sort of be left behind to stay and take care of us. And I really think that was very hard for her. And she was always torn between really wanting to be with her children and the love of her life. Our house was filled with laughter. She loved to laugh, she loved to tell jokes, even if the joke was on her, and she loved to sing. She loved to sing. And they'd have parties, and. Frank Sinatra would be there, or Nat King Cole, some terrific singer, would sit at the piano and just start singing. And my mother would get up right after one of them and belt out a song. She just, she had the voice of an angel and the guts of a prize fighter. And even though she gave up her career, she never gave up her passion for singing, her passion for music. When I think about her, I'm a little girl of what she looked like then, what color her hair was, what her eyes looked like. I never think of her as the older woman that I knew later. That was my mommy, that's the one I remember. And she was so beautiful. She was always dressed so pretty and I wanted to look just like her. When I was around 19, I was going to New York by myself to audition for a play. And everybody in the family was so excited. They all, you know, thought, wow, you know, I was gonna get this part. But I wasn't so sure. Anyway, my mother took me to the airport, and I didn't really realize until she hugged me and she pressed into my hand $100 and her own little gold rosary that she really was the one person who had looked into my heart. And she was worried about me, you know, that I would be rejected and hurt, which I was. And she just wanted me to get what I wanted. You know, and I think she, she admired the fact that, that I was taking the steps that she once took, but she couldn't really follow through with. She whispered in my ear, good luck, baby. And I knew then that she was right there with me, right there in the present, feeling it all with me. It was so funny because all my life I wanted to be like her. And now she wanted to be like me. After my parents were gone, both of them, I found this letter from my father to my mother that she had saved for so many years. And she, he was in London working and she was back home staying with us. And you could just feel in this letter all the loneliness and all the yearning that he had for her. And then at the end of the letter he said, uh, I hope someday our children will appreciate how much we've sacrificed for them. And that really made me cry. Because I, I don't think children ever appreciate what their parents sacrificed for them. You know, my mother, as I look back at it, she really gave us her whole life. And we could have done it on half. And I think if I had any wish today, it would be able to say, hey, Mommy, it's Mother's Day. I'm thinking about you and I love you. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Old Mom, si tu llevas mi alma con 